Alright YouTubers, welcome back to the Anonymous Miner channel, and today I'm going to go over how to mine Monero. Monero is a CPU only mineable cryptocurrency, and you can mine Monero on pretty much any computer. That being said, some computers, like one of them I'm going to show you today that I actually mine on, will make very little money. However, if you do have a higher end CPU, such as a Ryzen, 3950 or a Ryzen 5950, you can actually make about $1.50 to almost $2 a day mining on a higher end CPU. So, what exactly is Monero? Monero is a cryptocurrency that is dedicated to anonymity. Um, they keep you anonymous, they do not let anybody else track your wallet balances or your transactions going to and from and therefore they keep you kind of safe. Um, Ethereum and a lot of other blockchains create a basically a tracking device and one of the issues with this can be that somebody can go back and check all of the transactions that your wallet address has ever um, performed if you will. So the anonymity behind uh, Monero can be uh, greatly advantageous to some people depending on what you're trying to do and that's why I'm uh, gonna show you how to mine that today in Windows specifically so the first thing that I'm gonna need to do is get a wallet a wallet address to mine to um, a wallet is exactly like you would hold your US dollars or whatever else what other currency you may have um, now the wallet I'm going to use today is Free Wallet, and that is freewallet.org. And if you go on there, all they require is an email address and a few other things. It's really easy to create a uh, free wallet. And right here, I already have Monero. If I typed it in here, I can pull it up. And the, all these numbers and stuff right here are my wallet address. And this is what I'm going to need coming up. So I'm going to copy this, okay, I'm going to copy all that stuff, and then I'm going to come over here to Google, and we are going to Google Monero Mining Pools, um, and we're going to go to Pool Watch right here. Now Monero Mining Pool is where you are going to get together with a bunch of other miners, and you're all going to work on essentially a a problem. You're going to use your computing power to solve a problem for the blockchain and in doing so you will be rewarded in cryptocurrency or Monero. So in this case the different pools are here and the rewards, or I'm sorry, the fees for pools are listed here. So um, this pool here is the largest pool. It's 1% is what they're going to take. So all of the mining that you're doing, you're they're going to take 1% of it. And so I'm going to go to the next largest pool here, which takes a little bit less. And you can also see here that there is one at 0%, but that is in another country, which is going to um, create a lot of problems with communication as far as latency. Uh, it'll take a long time for me to send and receive information to that pool. So this pool here, if I click support XMR, this pool is a lot closer to me. You may want to choose one of those other pools back on that other um, website, which is why I showed you that. And that's back here on Pool Watch, okay? Now on Support XMR, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to a dark screen. I like it like that. And then I'm going to go home. Right here, I'm going to click that, and I'm going to click Help. And it's going to tell me I need a wallet. I already have my wallet. I'm going to click right here to Install Mining Software. And I'm going to click Setup Wizard. It says it's very user friendly, and I'm here to tell you it is. Okay, it takes me directly here. I'm going to click Download, and it will take me to the download for XM Rig. Okay, so now I have it downloaded. I'm going to put it on my desktop. And while that's downloading, I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to click wizard I'm going to hit new configuration I'm going to hit add pool here's all my pools that I can choose from while I'm setting this up 
and as I showed you already, I'm going to choose Support XMR. It now wants my Monero wallet address, so I'm going to paste that in there. That was what I copied out of Free Wallet over here. This 84i1x number, okay. And that is now pasted in there. I'm going to put a worker name in here. My worker name is going to be 3060 because that's what's in this computer. Actually, you know what? Let's name it uh, i7 because that's what this computer is. So we'll add that. So it's added that now. I can click add a proxy, which would be adding another pool. I'm not going to do that. Add daemon is for if you're not mining to a pool. Now, I wouldn't recommend that because it requires a lot of computing power. Otherwise, you are just playing the lottery, basically. Um, I can get into more of that later, but right now I'm going to show you how to finish setting up the miner. So, backends, this is to use your GPUs for mining, either AMD or NVIDIA. Um, I would not recommend this as it drastically increases power use and heat out of your graphics card because of the power use. So I wouldn't recommend doing that necessarily. If we come over here miscellaneous, I would like to turn down the donate level to 1%. That's going to be the minimum. Okay. And then the result here. So you have a couple options here. This is to go into your configuration file. What I'm going to use today is this one here. I'm going to copy this. All right. And now I'm going to, I have this copied. Okay. So now I want to bring this to you. It says this download was blocked because it's dangerous so I want to learn more I want to find out why it blocked it so it says it blocked it because it's a dangerous file I don't want to do that I want to keep my dangerous file because I know it's not and your computer will most likely show this as well so now this is on my desktop I need to extract this, so I'm going to extract all to the desktop, extract, here I've got this now, and now I want to show you how to create an exception in your security settings. So I'm going to open up Windows Security, I'm going to click on Virus and Threat Protection, I'm going to go down here to Manage Settings, and you know what, that might not be the right spot, no it is, it's Manage Settings. We're going to go down here to exclusions, add an exclusion. We're going to go to add that, and we're going to choose XMRig. So now Windows will leave that file alone. So we now have this on my desktop. If I minimize this, I can show you right here. There's the file. Here's the zipped one. I'm going to throw that one away. So I've got my file here. I'm going to open up Pool Mine here. And I'm going to right click it and I'm going to hit edit and you can see there's a bunch of stuff written in here so anything here in front of these colons can actually be deleted we don't need any of that stuff so we're going to remove that and I'm going to bring this CD all the way up and what the CD is is it's actually part of the command line it's part of the what you're telling the computer to do as far as how to run this program so you need to leave that part the rest of this we're gonna highlight like that and we're gonna paste in all I did is hit control plus V at the same time to paste in what I had copied before and that was copied from over here remember when we finished that configuration so I've now copied and pasted that and it's in my notepad here I'm going to close this and save it. We're going to come back to my desktop. Okay. Open this. Here's XMRig. And now I have my pool mine example. I'm going to right click this and run it as an administrator. Now, the other option, if you don't want to run as an administrator, is let me close this you can right click on XMRig down here, the actual application where it says application over there right click this, hit properties and it actually wasn't selected here, let me select that and hit right click and hit properties 
and go to compatibility and I can hit run this program as an administrator hit apply OK and now if I just double click on this it will run it for me as an administrator now the reason you need to run it as an administrator is because it does what's called an MSR mod which it just basically increases your hash rate um, the other thing that I would like to bring up is the first time that you run um, XM rig you're going to get a message like this that says huge pages support was successfully enabled but a reboot is required to use it and you can see down here it has zero percent on the huge pages so the first time you do this it's gonna need to enable that and it says it's unavailable here after you restart your computer and reopen XM rig it will actually already have it enabled so you're gonna have to restart your computer to fix that message now after that I already have it mining okay I already have a couple accepted shares which means that on that pool the pool has asked me to perform a certain task as far as processing some data or information I have completed that task and I have submitted my work back to that pool to receive my share or my um, cryptocurrency in this case the Monero so I'm gonna receive Monero for these accepted shares or these accepted problems that I've solved so that's now running um, I have it running it's good to go it was that simple we can go and we can stick my free wallet address into support XMR to see my hash rate now so if I come back over here to support XMR I want to go help and go to home now and it's gonna ask me right here what is your Monero address so I'm gonna come back over here to free wallet I'm gonna put in my pin I'm gonna get my Monero address here again copy we're gonna come back to support XMR I'm gonna hit paste enter and it's gonna bring up my hash rate so it's now showing this i7 It's showing that I'm getting valid shares it's gonna be red for a little bit until um, it's been mining for a little while so I have already started getting accepted shares I'm making money it's that simple um, after that there are a couple more things that I would like to talk about so I actually am mining on a CF30 laptop. So this is a CF30 here. It was made in 2006. It was the release date. My specific uh, CF30 has an Intel Core 2 Duo processor with a 1.6 gigahertz speed. Okay, so to give you an idea. The difference between an i3, i5, i7, and Core 2 Duo processor, generally speaking, the current generation of i3, i5, and i7 have about 20% more processing power than their Core 2 counterparts. So basically, there's a laptop that I'm mining on, the CF30, and I'm getting about 165 hashes per second, which is how fast I'm processing the data to get those accepted shares that I mentioned earlier. So if we come over here to this website, cryptocompare.com slash mining slash calculator, and when we come in here, I put in 165 hashes a second, which is what it's doing. And on this computer, I'm not paying for the power. So that's one thing. Um, without paying for the power and the pool fee on support XMR 0.6%, that computer is only making about one almost one and a half pennies a day that's pennies so a year over here is five dollars a year now that doesn't seem like it's very much money if I were to put the power consumption in here even at 10 cents a kilowatt hour it's about I think it's about 85 watts total it actually loses money so it's not recommended to mine on an older computer like that. That is something that you need to consider your specific situation and figure out if it is profitable or not to mine Monero on your computer. Um, 
that being said, if you look here at how much I'm actually mining per year, this is the amount of Monero that I'm receiving. It's not even one Monero, but this is the amount that I'm making. The amount of Monero, and it's based off of this Monero price. So right now, Monero, for one Monero, is worth about $268. If I go to coin360.com, which is a tracking site for pricing, and on this cryptocurrency Monero, we can see that in 2017, 2018, we had a spike of about uh, 400 and something dollars, 459 dollars right there. And just recently, we had a spike in May of this year at about 450 dollars. So that being said, when it's almost double the price, you're making a lot more money. And if we were to consider a Ryzen 5950 is actually going to do about 22,500 hashes a second. That is now making about $1.65 a day at current pricing. So now that, the CPU costs about $800 retail pricing, somewhere in there. So that would be a much more worthwhile um, mining project is if you had a 5950 but you can mine on any computer and depending on what your power cost is or if you just believe in the project it may be worthwhile for you and your specific situation to mine but I mine no matter what um, I believe in the project that's just me I hodl the coins I sell them when I need to I have the ability to pay my power bills, but again, that one computer with the Core 2 Duo processor, I don't pay the power bill for. So, I still mine on that one. I mine on pretty much every computer I have, but that's what I'm doing over here. I appreciate your time watching this video. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you. If you could thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Any input is uh, greatly appreciated. Um, I appreciate all my, all my viewers. Thank you very much, and um, here it is, it's still running, running in the background here, about 4,100 hashes per second, let me just put that in real quick, show you guys, 480, so that computer right there, that i7 is making about 14 cents a day, so anyways, that's it folks, thanks again, and have a good one.